guaranteed. So remember, to help get rid of rats and roaches, order Ridex Plus today. Not available in stores. Operators are standing by, so call now for this limited-time offer. Okay, welcome back to Gladiators 2000. Now it's time for our next event, a race. But this isn't a race between two contestants or two gladiators. We're going to have a race between a penny and a school book. Let's meet our contestants. In this corner, we have a penny made of copper, minted in Denver, Colorado, boasting a picture of Abraham Lincoln on the front and weighing one-tenth of an ounce. And in this corner, we have a science book made of cardboard and paper. It's got doodly stuff on the front and gum between pages 56 and 57. It weighs two pounds. All right, you guys at home, take the penny in one hand and the book in the other hand. Stand up on a chair. Now, hold the penny and the book right at the same level. Okay, get ready to drop your contenders at the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three, drop. I can't believe it. The penny tied the school book. This is unbelievable. I got to see the replay. It's a tie. Whoa, Nelly. Can you believe that? Holy cow. Even though the book weighs 320 times as much as the penny, they hit the counter at the exact same moment. And that book looks angry. He's going to want a rematch. Well, old Mr. Science Book can keep racing the penny, but it's always going to end up a tie. It may not seem like it should be true, but it is. According to the great Italian scientist Galileo, all objects fall at the exact same rate, no matter how much they weigh. And you just proved it the same way he did over 300 years ago. Now, there's a big if connected to this law, though. That if takes into account air resistance that can slow light things down, like a piece of paper or a feather. But if there was no air to get in the way, Galileo said a feather would fall as fast as a hammer. And Galileo was proved right, though he had to wait a few centuries. In the 1970s, astronauts conducted a race between a feather and a hammer on the airless surface of the moon. Guess what happened? It's a tie! Whoa, Nelly! Can you believe that? Holy cow, it's unbelievable! I gotta see that again! It's amazing! Oh, unbelievable! We're back with the second round of Swing Shot. All right, up top for the red team, it's Jennifer. And for the blue team, it's Tiffany. All right, we are set to go. Peggy, let's hit it. Swing and shot! All right. Up and down Tiffany at the same time. The it looks like they're head to head right now. Jennifer also grabbed the blue. This is going to be a close match. Three points for each one of those balls there with blue. Five points there. Oh, oh it's not Jennifer got the red. Tiffany was more. Jennifer now with swoop the up. What did she get? Get that hand out. Nice. Oh! Jennifer has got some grace on this thing. Went for the blue, took the yellow. Tiffany, Tiffany got, got the blue. blue. Siren helping her back up, dunking it in that tank. Collected all the balls. The more they get, the more chances at the bonus round. 25 seconds left. And this should be good for Tiffany because you know Tiffany's really interested in being a sports broadcast. Yeah. Look at that. Two hands there, Jennifer. They are taking some balls back with them. Tiffany said she was stoked about this match. She couldn't wait to go bungee jumping. <laughs> Five seconds on the clock. It looks like they're, they're going pretty close here. Very close, very close. Oh, man. Oh, Jennifer went for the red. Woo! <laughs> Peggy's going to do some counting on her fingers. Let's see what she's got. Miss Odita. The red team collects seven balls for a total score of 17 points. The blue team also collects seven balls for a total score of 23 points. Now that our contenders have finished their first game, it's time to move on to the bonus round. Our category today is countries and continents. Now, since the red team is behind, they get to go first, while the blue team waits in the soundproof booth. All right, in this container are the seven balls you scored in swing shot. Over there, you got four barrels, each with a different continent's name on it. We have South America, Africa, Europe, and Asia. Val will hand each of you a ball, one at a time. I'll name a country, and they'll have 30 seconds to get as many balls as you can into the proper barrel, scoring five points each time you get a right answer. You got all that? Yeah. Woo! Well, let's compete. Ready? Yeah. Angola. Norway. Bang. Libya. Colombia. Yeah. 
Greece. Oh, wow. All right, that's five correct answers for a total of 25 points. Now, let's bring out the blue team. Here they come, pumped and ready. All right, guys, the subject is countries and continents. You guys also have seven balls, so let's see what happens. Ready? Ready. Angola. There they go. Remember to tag. Remember to get them to tag you. Norway. There she goes, and here she comes. Libya. They are focusing. The eye of the tiger. Colombia. Gold. Greece. Greece, lady. Isn't that a song? Hong Kong. Oh! Good job. You got four correct answers for 20 more points. Good, guys. The blue team may be winning by a score of 43 to 42. One point. There's wow. There's still plenty of time for the red team to catch up when all our contenders take on our next game. It's big. It's bad. And it is nutritious. It's the food pyramid. Don't go away. <laughs> if you have a hard time walking,